Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Lemke. I am a spiritually um, independent thinker and writer whose material comes from the conscious mind and not from existing books or existing beliefs. So I'm trying to be original. Um, now I have a blog called uh, Creative Thinking at marklemke.wordpress.com and it features what I call a creation story. Now, the creation story is my vision of how the universe was formed and how it functions. I broke down the topics in the creation story into three categories. They are astronomical, functional, spiritual wisdom. I am currently focused on the astronomical category of that story. A few weeks ago, I read and discussed the universal star theory. Uh, in this theory, the universe was formed from the massive supernova of a single star. From the nebulas that were created from this big bang came the next wave of stars, and I'm calling them galactic stars. I'm going to read the galactic star theory section in the creation story. Hey, it's, it's only two paragraphs long, and it takes less than five minutes to read, so it's quick and it's easy. So here we go. This is from um, the galaxy uh, section of a creation story. The next wave of stars, uh, called galactic stars, were tiny in comparison to the universal star, but enormous in comparison to the size of stars today. Each of these jumbo stars burned relatively fast and eventually exploded into a massive supernova. The explosion left a neutron star which cooled quickly. Like uh, the universal star, it left a large, heavy, solid core center along with a vast pool of gases and debris. Due to its enormous weight, the surrounding gases and debris and dust started to orbit around the solid center core. This star-forming chain of events is what eventually became galaxies in our universe. Now, our own Milky Way was one of the galaxies to form as gases, dust, and various forms of solid matter orbited around the heavy core center. The conditions were right for the formation of the smaller stars. Uh, for the first time in the universe's history, uh, the stars were small enough and cool enough for the development of organic matter. Uh, that would be us. And that's within the small number of stars that uh, with the right conditions. And, you know, that that's it. Those are my two paragraphs for uh, the galactic star theory. Um, my... You know, my, my intentions are, are not to provide uh, all the answers, but rather to inspire questions, um, a, a beginning of a process, uh, a starting point. And, you know, that's it. That's, that's all I wanted to accomplish for today. And um, so that was short. My next video is going to be on how the uh, earth was formed. And it includes where the water came from, um, which is important because right now um, they don't know where the water came from. But in this next theory, I'm gonna, I got, I'm gonna tell you where I think the water came from. Um, so I'll be talking about that in a couple weeks, and until then, um, I'm gonna say goodbye, and uh, maybe I'll see you in a couple weeks. So. Uh, Good day and uh, have a great day and um, talk to you later.